Hey folks, how are ya? Pardon me a moment, I'm shredding up some potatoes. Because tonight we're gonna have potato encrusted fish. Haddock to be exact. And I need some shredded potatoes for that. Now you could do this like I'm doing or you could be smart and you can use a food processor because man, that hurts the knuckles a little bit. I do have a food processor at home, just did not feel like schlepping it in here tonight. So, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to throw some potatoes first. And we're going to encrust some haddock tonight, as I mentioned. Now, once your potatoes are shredded, you're going to want to do this. If you're home, do it over sink, but in the studio, we do it over the trash can. Take those potatoes that you've peeled and you've rinsed, squeeze them. Because right now, my friends, moisture is our enemy. We want to squeeze all that water out. A little bit in there. Done. Now, ah, you know what? One more squeeze of good measure. Ah, yeah, it makes me feel like a strong guy when I do that. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, thank you for tuning in. You probably know this is Cooking with Charles, and I'm your host, Charles Minnick. As always, we have a nice libation. Tonight, our guest is Night Harvest Chardonnay. Wonderful California wine. Not too expensive. Very tasty. Always a good guest to have at your dinner table. All right. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do, we've already shredded the potato. I got a white russet potato, use that. I'm also going to add to it some uh, sweet potato. So take one potato, add a little bit of sweet potato to it. I've got one of each here. We're not going to need too, too much. And we're going to season this. First, some scallions. You want to use the white and the green. Just give them a nice chop. About two scallions will do you, because we're going to use about a pound of haddock tonight. You could also use cod, sea bass, anything else you like. This is summertime in New England, so it's seafood season. And by the way, folks, I hope you all had a great 4th of July last week. I know I did. Fun time, sad by all. Now, after a scallion, I'm going to use garlic leaves. You probably don't see your garlic that this usually in the store. You're probably used to seeing this right here. Well, the bulb is great. We'll use that later. But what I'm looking at is these leaves. What you want to do, cut off the ends. I actually got this garlic bulb at a farmer's market in downtown Goffstown the other day. Wonderful. Mm. You cut the ends off that are dry and you're stuck with this. It's a leafy, garlicky smelling piece of goodness. Very nice, very light. It's not a strong garlic taste, but we're just going to take this, going to use about one leaf. And we're just going to put that in with our potatoes. Mmm. Oh, I touched my nose at that. Oh, that was good. But doesn't worry, don't worry. We're going to mix it all up and cook it so whatever my nose touch will be okay. Mmm. All right. We got that mixed up. We're going to put that aside. Get our pan warming up here for a moment. And our oil, you're going to want to use a medium-high heat. We have a regular olive oil tonight. We don't need extra virgin. We want a heartier olive oil, one that's going to have a higher temperature flash point, so to speak. Um, if you're home, you can always use canola or peanut oil. will work just as well. Now, let me just get our haddock here. It's down here in our super-duper refrigerator. <laughs> Which, if you're a fan of the show, you know we don't have one. 
This is all a green screen behind me. And it's kind of like going to a state park. You carry in, you carry out. We get a nice pound of haddock here. Ooh, this is lovely, lovely looking fish. Now this is a little bit on the wet side because it was defrosting. What you're gonna to wanna to do is just take a little bit of paper towel, pat it dry. Just guess what folks, oil, water from that does not mix. All right, gonna cut this into about four servings, right like that. Let me just clean up some space here. And voila, our attic. A little bit of egg here. I'm gonna just do an egg wash here. I saw this recipe the first time that was done. No egg wash. However, I wanted to do some research on the recipe. Some people called for an egg wash. Some people did not. So what I'm going to do is use an egg wash on two of these and the two normal. So as our oil is heating up over here, we're going to start this over here. We're going to encrust this with that. A little bit of salt in here, or pepper actually, and then, then we're going to use the salt. Perfect. We're just going to do one side of this now because we're going to do the other side in the pan. So first things first, make sure this is all nice and mixed. Again, we have some sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. Going to want to take about a third of a cup. This is going to be for our non-egg wash. And we're just going to place it about a medium high heat. Let that set. And then we're gonna take our fish, put it right on top. Now, take your salt and pepper. That's right. And we're gonna season the top of this. Perfect. Now, we're just gonna take the Another, but a third of a cup. Put that right on top of each of these. There we go. Now, let's do the egg wash ones. See how this works out for us. All right. I'm actually going to use a pastry brush here, baster brush, whatever you want to call it just because I don't want to get a lot of egg on this because I'm trying to go for a light, summery meal here. And it's just going to be a little, little bit of love, a little bit of egg wash love. Voila for that. All right, and then all we're going to do, essentially the same thing, but we're going to Instead of putting it right in the pan, we're going to just put it on this, on the fish. And we'll place those in the pan. And do that side, and we got a little bit of extra potato. Now it's about a third of a cup for the top and the bottom. Voila, folks. Right now, we are cooking. some of this stuff out of the way, clean up our workspace. Folks, while we're waiting for this to cook, and before we go to break, I do want to let you know that I am looking for your help. You might have seen my promos on the station, but I am looking for some cameraman. Nothing wrong with Dave. He's doing a great job in that booth over there. But um, there's only him, there's only me. We're looking for one or two other people that can help out with editing. 
and some handheld camera work. That way you can get some really cool stuff going on here for you. It's for your viewing pleasure, so you should really, really help out with it. But anyway, contact me at my website. I'm, I'm sorry, not my website. <laughs> my email address, cookingwithcharles at gmail.com. Um, we can set up a time to meet, discuss what the needs of the show are, what your time commitment is, and just go from there. So contact me and you'll be hooked up with culinary greatness. For right now though, I'm gonna hang out with uh, Night Harvest Chardonnay because we're gonna let this cook for a few more minutes on this side, then we're gonna flip it, and then we're gonna make a nice cilantro sauce. So, till the cilantro sauce happens, go do what you gotta do. I'm hanging out with my Chardonnay. We'll see you in a few, come right back. Hi, I'm Charles Minnick, host of GTV Smash Hit, Cooking with Charles. I've teamed up with the Goffstown Network to tell you about their outreach and food pantry programs. The mission of the Goffstown Network is to provide for the hunger-related needs of our neighbors in Goffstown and their surrounding communities. Founded with the governing principles that no person should go hungry and every person deserves our care. The Goffstown Network serves the area by providing food and other services on an emergency short-term basis. This spirit of community and mutual caring is extended to anyone in Goffstown, Dunbarton, and New Boston. Normal hours of operation are Wednesday evenings, 6 to 8 p.m., and Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. to noon. Now, you can, you can also assist them through donations of time, food, or money. Like the help they give, the help they receive is also greatly appreciated. You can reach them by calling the number on your screen or by stopping by the Parish House of St. Matthew's Church. It's located in downtown Goffstown at 7 North Mass Street, right across from Sully's. We could not do this show without the help of our friends at Sully's Superette. Since 1987, Sully's has provided the area with the best meats around. Here at Cooking with Charles, we not only count on them for their kind donations of meat, but John and the gang at Sully's also provide us with the best produce, deli items, and libations that make Cooking with Charles the huge success it is. From all of us at Cooking with Charles, thank you. Hey folks, welcome back. I've already flipped this. I did about four or five minutes the first side, flipped it, doing four or five minutes the second side. And I know we're doing like um, two of them, one with an egg wash, one without an egg wash, and guess what? It really doesn't look like it makes a difference. So I'll say, do this at home, no egg wash, because it's just an extra step you don't need. So we're almost ready to start plating this. What we're gonna have to do though first is uh, put these bad boys on the side. Let me get a little plate here. And uh, folks, this also brings me to one of my viewer emails I got last week, which thank you very much. Keep those coming. One of my uh, viewers said, hey, why don't you use more real plates? Well, guess what? This behind me, as I said, is green screen. I gotta lug everything in, so I bring one plate for presentation, paper plates for functionality. So, if you wanna donate a kitchen set, that'd be awesome. <laughs> but for now, less glass I gotta uh, transport, the better. Let me just check these. Oh, almost done. Gonna give these a, just another minute, I think. But I am noticing though, like any, anything, there's a hot side and there's a cold side. Meaning, same burner, but it's different throughout the pan. Mm, mm, mm. This does smell wonderful. So while we're waiting for this, guys, let's recap. We took one potato, russet, and then one sweet potato. We shredded those up. You'll use the coarse shredder on your hand grater or 
use an electric um, food processor. It will really, really help you out in the long run. But if you don't have one, it doesn't matter. You can use that hand grater. Ah. See, that's a symptom of it not being thick enough. Oh. It's funny, actually. As I flip these, the ones without the egg wash are the ones that the potato coating is coming off. There we go. Mm, nice potato crunch on those. All right, folks, we're going to do our sauce now. All right. Got a little bit of oil up in the pan, and guess what? Our friend Chardonnay going right in there. And we got some nice, fresh cilantro right here. Just want to give this a nice, rough chop. All we got to do, throw that in there. Because I want a little bit of zest to mine, I'm going to do about a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Not a whole lot, just enough to give it a little bit of poof. And some garlic. One clove will do. Just going to mash that. Voila. That, folks, is our sauce. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. That is garlicky goodness, folks. And cilantro, oh, wonderful. You know, I have found out one thing about cilantro, though. You either love it or you hate it. There's not a lot of middle ground. I happen to love it. Although I don't like it to be like the main flavor. It's a nice accompanying flavor. So let me turn that down for just a little bit. Now, when we put this up, guys, here we go. Get this out of the way. We don't need you. We got some nice organic triple washed baby spinach. Now you could use iceberg, use whatever you want for the lettuce on the side. Um, you can use baby greens, field greens, whatever greens you want. But this is definitely a, a dish for greens. All right, here we are. I'm gonna place that right there. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. During the break, my director, cameraman, cohort in the studio, Dave, asked me if I made this before. I said, hell no, man. Came up with this recipe on Saturday, watching TV, looking at the other shows that do, did this and added my own twist to it. So, yeah, no, I've never made this, made this before. But let me tell you, it's awesome. Now, we're going to just put a little bit of that sauce right on the side. Because what we're going to do now is take a balsamic glaze. Balsamic glaze is very easy to make. Take about two thirds of a cup of balsamic vinegar and very gently over the course of like an hour, simmer it down to a third of a cup, quarter of a cup. So you, you reduce it by two thirds. This I actually saw in a store, it was on sale. This is infused. If you want to infuse a flavor to your balsamic glaze, 
put whatever you want to flavor it for like 10 minutes midway through that will infuse it for you however you can buy this in the store for about eight dollars for something this size or you can make it yourself at home i tried this product i suggest you make it at home yourself but buy one of these because you get a nice little squeeze bottle here because this is what you're going to do you are just going to squeeze a few lines voila ladies and gentlemen oh oh whoa, whoa, we're spilling everywhere folks we are spilling everywhere oh, oh hold on hold on hold on uh, ladies and gentlemen let's try that again there you are potato encrusted haddock with a cilantro white wine sauce and a balsamic glaze drizzle on top. And we used russet. Mmm. And sweet potato goodness. Folks, this is awesome. Nice, light, healthy summer meal. Your guests will enjoy this immensely. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. You know, I don't so much love the way I cook, I just love food. And remember, food is love. And every day you should share that love with somebody else. So, make this, make it however you want. Make something different, but make somebody you love something to eat every day. Till next week, you're cooking with Charles, and when you're cooking with Charles, you're cooking with good looking. We'll see you then. Take care, everybody.